Wow. Uh, so much so the red has turned to pink, so she's oh. changing the flag. Okay, I'm glad she's changing the thing because somebody might have a, a mistaken identity <laughs> on the flag. All right, so we are moving into our very first topic of the day, and we have a very distinguished guest. We're, we're both really very happy to have her on board because we get to talk to her about women's participation in the country's growth. So let's just bring her on as we discuss further. That's right. Uh, she is with the National Population and Family Development Board. Uh, thank you very much, Tansri Nafsiyama, for coming back to the show. Yeah. She's thank you, Tansri. one of our yes. frequent uh, guests on yes. the show. And yes. always at the forefront of. Oh, uh, thank you for having me. <laughs> it is a pleasure. Welcome. Yes. So let's let's jump right in. Uh, yes. We had, of course, the Hariwanita or National Women's yes. Day yesterday. Yes, 25th of 25th August. 25th of August. Um, Hariwanita, Women's Day. Women's Day. That's yes. right. So yes. let let's talk a little bit about it. Now, the yes. whole theme, of course, uh, that as as our Prime Minister said, it's basically respect Wanita Masyarakat Sejahtera. Yes. Uh, you know, respect women and the society flourishes. Yes. Uh, your take on this thing? Yeah, I, I feel it should be there. We should not be asking. Uh, you know, to be respected. Mm -hmm. Women should be respected, regardless. Mm -hmm. uh, not just because of Women's Day, you want to have, you know, uh, respect women. No, it should be there every day, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And while we are at it, let's have mutual respect. Yeah. Because if there is mutual respect, uh, I think uh, society will just flourish, mm -hmm. True. you know. Mm -hmm. And young children, children from very small, should be taught. Mm -hmm. Women should be respected. Mm. You, there is no, uh, I think, um, no just, question just about no it. There's no two ways about yes, it. Yes, yeah. yes, 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 certainly. Oh. And women, as you know, have been contributing to the country's growth. Mm -hmm. sure, From sure. day one, if ever anyone to say, ask you, uh, how many percent of the country, could, I think th there should, should be no question at all. Uh, in the early days, I know in agriculture, because I was in agriculture yeah. at one time, all those agriculture works done, you know, and the food that they brought home are done by women, and yet they are not counted. Mm -hmm. How unfair can mm -hmm. you be? Well, it is history. Maybe we need to change the his in history. <laughs> <laughs> Make it history. <laughs> Maybe it's her just story. story. Yeah? Her story. Uh, well, anyway, yes. Tansri, uh, there's always this call for more women to come to the forefront in leadership roles, mm. yes. uh, corporate positions, decision-making yes. roles. Yes. And uh, how does society benefit from having more women in decision-making roles? And what are your takes on companies where women are the CEOs? Mm. How have they changed? Um, from reports that I've read, although I can't pinpoint exactly, uh, it says that when you have women on board mm. in your in your as directors mm -hmm. sales goes up productivity yeah. increase mm -hmm. and it i think benefits the society yeah. mm -hmm. benefit the company first you know and it is in uh, it is important for them to have women because in say in companies that produces things for the use of consumers yeah. half the consumers in any market are women mm -hmm. that's true that's true uh, I, i'm sure they bring in their their beliefs their you know their nature everything is mm -hmm. in there once mm -hmm. you have women on board i'm sure you will have profits well Tansri, if you don't mind us uh, you know switching the the topic a little yes. bit uh we would like to also touch upon uh domestic violence that's mm. rampant at the moment mm -hmm. now we're not yeah. only talking about in fact I, I shouldn't say domestic violence, I should say violence against women because yes. that's what's happening at the moment. Yes. Um, just this morning we heard the case about the five-year-old child who was abused and of course by mm. her own mum and passed yes. away. And again, yes. that's a girl child. Yes. Uh, you know, we have women being raped mm -hmm. uh, and, and it's just coming out in the papers at the moment. Yes. There are women being abused, the one in the lift uh, which mm -hmm. went viral, that, that's another one scenario that we're talking about. Yes. In, in your opinion, mm. Tansri, mm -hmm. um, what is your take on the sudden increase or surge in the papers. I mean, it's reported at the moment. There is no sudden increase, I'm sure, because it's been happening every time. Yes, I'm sure. But the, the increase yes. is there because of awareness that's out there as well. Mm -hmm. Your take on this whole topic. Um, I don't know why, as you say, there's a sudden increase. Yeah. Mm. But actually, way back in the 90s, uh, I brought uh, the um, Domestic Violence uh, Act, you know, uh, the bill into Parliament, mm -hmm. and we went through that. Mm -hmm. And we, I think, in this Southeast Asian country, we are the only country yeah. uh, that have the Domestic Violence Act. That's the we recognize bill. early. Yeah. Now, I must say, it's just not women. Men and women did recognize that there was violence against women, mm -hmm. especially. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not, uh, but there are also, I must say, violence against men. Yes, uh, but, uh, but, but the, the majority are women. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, and we work about nearly 10 years mm -hmm. before we 
can bring it to Parliament. Mm -hmm. And when it's brought to Parliament, uh, lo and behold, there are MPs who stood up there and said, hey, there are no domestic violence in our country. Wow. Ooh, really? Yes, what, yes, year yes, yes, yes. what year was this? What year was this? We just no, want I'm to clarify. I'm not saying that. And I'm not, uh, and I'm not identifying all the MPs <laughs> who are against me. But thank God it went through. Yeah. And I must pay tribute to the late Tun Z uh, Zahir, who was then mm -hmm. the speaker, who held the clock. Mm -hmm. Because we were nearly going to be midnight, you know. If past midnight, the bill would pass and we'd go back right down yeah. to the bottom and the, of the agenda and wow. it will probably never pass right. but thank God he helped us and today we do have the Domestic Violence Act mm -hmm. right. um, it took about another two years I think before it can be um, uh, really enforced mm -hmm. and I have love letters from people as far as I think somebody from uh, I remember from uh, Cameron Highlands writing to say hey Data, I hate you Oh. Because my wife now answers me back. Wow. <laughs> because she said, if you, if you, that's a crime, you are committing a crime. Right. But look, why do you have to have violence against women? Right. Mm. It's because I think uh, people today want to assert their authority, mm. yeah. the mm. power. That's true. The power over somebody else, that's the reason. It's mm -hmm. always a power play, isn't it? Yes. When you talk about domestic exactly. violence, yes. it is a power play. Uh, but yeah. as you said, Tantri, and rightly pointed out, mm. uh, legislatively, mm. we're one of the most efficient countries in the region. Yes. We have over 900 pieces of legislation, yes. so there's nothing lacking there. Right. Yet, nevertheless, mm. we still As see... As you say, there's an increase. Yeah. Why is it? Why? Yeah. Even if you have baskets of laws, mm. if it doesn't reach to the, the man in the street, yeah. There will it doesn't have violence. Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. so we must continuously make ourselves aware, mm. you know, that it is wrong. This is where I think, uh, mm. if, if from small you teach your child respect mm. women, be of mutual respect to one another, yeah. and that um, I'm nothing, I'm lesser, no lesser than you, mm. you know, I'm sure. It is again, I think, again, I am appealing again to men and women that they must. Uh, nurture their young ones so that they r respect each other. Well, I think the respect goes both ways, uh, yes. and and the and the tutoring goes both ways. Mm -hmm. If you agree with me, Tansri, again, uh, one, you should teach the the little boys to respect the women, mm -hmm. but you should teach the little girls to mm -hmm. say, look, I'm no lesser than you, and make them stand up to say, yeah. you do not, I am not, you know, I, I am not to be abused. Yes, I, uh, yes. you have no right to abuse me. So the little girls should be given the, that knowledge yes. to say, stand your ground if. A man yeah. hits you, turn around, stop it, and tell yourself, tell mm. that person, you yeah. have no right to touch me. Exactly. Mm -hmm. that, that, ris that, that education, I fear, and again, correct me if I'm wrong, Tansri, mm. is not out there. I is, that, yes. is that true? I believe so. Otherwise, you know, why should we have this problem? Mm -hmm. And this is where I think the important roles of teachers mm. right from school, mm -hmm. parents at home, you know, must teach their children about respecting each other. Mm -hmm. uh, let's come back to the formal side of education. And mm -hmm. Tansri, the last time you were on the show, yes. you recanted your own experience as to how when you first embarked on your remember that. <laughs> <laughs> trip to study abroad, yes. someone in your family said it was a mistake. Yeah. Uh, could you share with us a story again? Oh, the one you say where my grandfather told my father? Mm -hmm. Oh, he said, uh, Omar, you are a fool for sending your daughter for further education. Uh. Because when she grows up, she becomes the wife of another man. Right. She's no longer your daughter. Mm. That always sticks in my mind, yes, mm -hmm. yes. Mm. But today, this is a different world altogether, isn't it? True. Mm. Yes, so today I think each uh, child that's born into this world, uh, whether a boy or a girl, more so a girl, Please give her education. Well, the furthering that course, yeah. actually you have a scholarship to announce to us yes. today. Oh yes, yes, yes. 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 <laughs> I know you don't have much time. Right. But I would like, I have been serving Kuala Pila as a member of parliament right. for the last five general elections from the year 1982 to the year 2004. Mm -hmm. And I would like to give back to society. I'd like to give back to the people in Kuala Pila. Mm -hmm. And so uh, today, as I'm chairman of the Portman College, mm -hmm. uh, it, is, it is a college that has a difference <laughs> because we are going to train entrepreneurs to come out. They will come out of college, they will then be able not only to offer jobs to people because they, also, they will be already having a job themselves. Right, right. 
What I would like to do is that uh, for people in Kuala Pilar, mm -hmm. young men and women in Kuala Pilar, mm -hmm. who have at least three credits, mm -hmm. I'm offering them a scholarship. One oh. for a Chinese, one for a Malay, and one for an Indian. Three scholarships. Yes, a boy or a girl from Doesn't Kuala matter. Pilar. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, a, a three-year study at Portman College. Mm -hmm. And it will be called Napsia Omar's Scholarship. Oh, Congratulations. Right. And it is for the people of Kuala Pilar mm -hmm. because they have helped me, served me, and I want to give back to them. Mm -hmm. I wish I was from Kuala Pilar. <laughs> I, wish I, I wish I was, I was back in college. Yeah, yeah. I was about to say that. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Well, That's when you're saying again about uh, women yeah. contribution, I must here put on record the women in this country should be grateful to the women who are teachers in this country. Nice. Almost 400,000 teachers, two-thirds are women. Mm -hmm. yeah. And um, these women too should be proud of themselves as teachers because they are the ones that nurture the young Very to true. become the future generations of Malaysians. Fantastic. Thank you, Tan Sri, for being here on the program with us. Happy yeah. National Women's Day once again oh, to you. Selamat thank Hari you. Wanita. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's Same. been a pleasure having yeah. you on, to on board. To everyone out there, Selamat Hari Wanita. Thank you. thank you. All right, so there you go. That was Tan Sri Natsia Omar. And uh, indeed, you know, it's, it's always a pleasure to have a chat with mm -hmm. her because she's got all these worldly wisdoms coming in. And uh, it, it's different when you chat with, when right. you talk to her. And she she's comes up with ideas. And of course, the Portman College Scholarship. That's right. We're not done celebrating no, National no. Women's Day just yet. Take a look at this. We've had it just for you.